be any fish. The first day of August, 2018. And a whole bunch of stuff has just been, like, laid out here that I, I want to show you because uh, I feel as though it's important. It's something in my spirit that wants me to just get it out there. And I'm not exactly sure what it means, but I have to just do this because I'll lose some of it, I'm afraid. So it all started uh, with a simple random Bible verse just to have a quick reading this morning. And it gave me Ezekiel, Ezekiel 11.5, which in this particular Bible verse generator, you don't get a lot of, it's usually New Testament or something you know, uplifting, you know what I mean? They don't give you too many scriptures that are talking about any kind of hardcore prophecy or anything like that. But this, you know, and the Spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said unto me, Speak, thus saith the Lord, the, thus have ye said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come into your mind, every one of them. And what he's talking about is Ezekiel in another part of this vision that he had that goes all the way back to Ezekiel 8 is where it begins. But the weird thing is, is right here, it's saying, Moreover, the Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the east gate of the Lord's house, which looked eastward. And behold, at the door of the gate, five and twenty men, among whom I saw Jezaniah, the son of Azur, and Pelatiah, the son of Benaiah, princes of the people. Then said he unto me, Son of man, these are men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in the city, which say, It is not near. Let us build houses. This city is a, the cauldron, and we be the flesh. Prophesy against them. Okay, this is 11. This is towards the end of this vision of Ezekiel. But what caught me was, it says, Which say, It is not near let us build houses right because as i'm looking at the news <laughs> i see this article here mike huckabee dons hard hat lays bricks for new west bank settlement homes right this is the first place i saw it right here 607 this morning 13 and there's mike huckabee build israel great again and they're building houses and little triangles but this one here was the funniest one because he's got the literal trowel out there okay well, seriously build israel great again and there they are with the trowel i mean this is just how my mind works okay so i see that in relation to this bible verse right and then i realize i've gone over this before but in ezekiel 8 is where the vision begins and so i go to ezekiel 8 right and i'm reading this and the stuff i'm starting to see is really like getting my spirit all kinds of excited you know but i'm still not exactly sure what i'm seeing but nonetheless you know it begins and it came to pass in the sixth year in the sixth month of the fifth day and it just dawns on me that that august in in the middle of august begins the month of elul which I believe uh, from Nisan, that's the sixth month, uh, which I just thought was really interesting. And the, and the fifth day would put us on the 16th of August, which, you know, I think that's kind of cool. But besides that, you know, just getting this Bible verse and then seeing Huckabee building, right? Here we go. Which say, you know, let us build houses. And there's Huckabee building the houses with them in Israel. And and so I go to Ezekiel 8, and I start reading it, like I said. And I got these highlighted, but I'm still... Because this was like earlier this morning that I saw this. So I'm going to have to play a little catch-up as I go here. Um, yeah, the God of Jerusalem, he took him to the inner gate that looked toward the north, where the seat of the image of jealousy which provoketh to jealousy and what why did that the gate the gate because we were talking about all these arches lately these gates essentially that's that's 
what they are, right? These gates, arches. So he took him to the door of the inner gate that looked toward the north. Anyway, Ezekiel 8. And then I get down more down here. I actually had to open up my e-sword because it gets really interesting, right? Don't forget, we're in the eighth month, too. This, today is 8-1. <laughs> And he put forth in hand and took me by a lock of my head, okay, and he looketh toward the north, where the seed of image of jealousy provoketh to jealousy. And this could be the Damascus gate, because the Damascus gate faces north, okay, so it, it could be the Damascus gate. And there's a column, it's used to, it was called the gate of the column at one time because of a giant Roman column that towers over the square so that could be the image of jealousy which provoketh to jealousy and the glory of god of israel was there okay ezekiel 8 and the glory of god of israel was there and he said unto me son of man lift up your eyes now the way toward the north so i lift up my eyes toward the north and behold northward at the gate of the altar this image of jealousy in the entry and I, I only mark that because of that uh, Roman column that I came across would be the only thing that I could think of that would represent that. Uh, there's multiple things. It could be a figurative thing. I'm not really sure. But was what it gets even weirder, though, and better here to me. And he brought me to the door of the court. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Okay. And I, the first thing that came into my head was last week when the stone fell out of the wall and created a hole in the wall right that's the first thing that came into my mind i can't help it and a hole in the wall and then i look at wall look at it. it's h723 right a wall as built in a trench mason just like i was looking at uh huckabee building the wall with the trowel in his hand okay but that's not it. It's H7023. 723. And the stone fell out of the wall on 723. Which, this stuff is just like connecting like that, right? Then he said unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, behold the wicked abominations that they do there. Now the door could mean a bunch of things too i mean i envision it as uh, a door into a secret synagogue is what i call it because what i should what i'm going to show you shows that and he went in and he saw all the abominations the beasts and the idols right portrayed upon the wall and there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of israel okay that's where i got to bring this up from last December, the new synagogue under the Western Wall, okay? Now, <laughs> I've done videos on this, but this is this is too much, really. You, you see this little inner circle here? I, I have images of this, like better ones here. Okay, that's the Ark. That's what they call that. This little inner circle right here, believe it or not, has 70 seats you can count them yourself if you like uh and stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of israel and in the midst of them stood stood jezaniah the son of shephan shephan as in hiding probably a kuni it means secretively if you if you look into the uh into the deeper meaning of it here see it's to conceal like a valuable a treasure okay a rock rabbit coney okay and that even goes further too but i digress so we got the hole in the wall we go in we through the door and we see the uh the secret place where the 70 ancients have gathered together right and this this all took place on december the 19th of 2017 okay that's that's when this took place the the dedication of this synagogue right uh let's see 
Yeah, let's read on. And he said to me, Son of man, has a scene with the ancients of the house of... Oh, I forgot a verse here. And there stood before the seventy ancients of the son of Shephan, the hidden secret, with every man his censer, okay, his little smudge pot in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Well, at the very same time, and I'm talking about the very same night, that they were dedicating this synagogue under the west wall, under the temple, they were also doing a very interesting thing outside of the temple. They were, for the first time in 2,000 years, and people got to just grasp the the spiritual meaning of this. I mean, this is like a literal thing they did for the first time in 2,000 years. Burned incense in the temple prescribed manner for the first time. And this article is dated December 21st, 2017. Now they did the actual burning of the incense on the Tuesday prior to that. The very same night that they dedicated the synagogue under the west wall of the temple. Okay, this is just crazy. The fact that this occurred on the 19th and that this article was not posted until the 21st in an Israeli newspaper, mind you, uh, is very telling because it also has a great deal to do with this winter solstice. Okay, I'm just trying to show you how this stuff came to me. And uh, then he said unto me, Son of man, what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chambers of his imagery, for they say, The Lord seeth us not. The Lord hath forsaken the earth. And he said to me, Turn ye that ag yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which is toward the north. And behold, there sat the women weeping for Tammuz. Okay. And he said unto me, Hast thou seen this old man? Turn thee yet again, and you shall see even greater abominations. And he brought me to the inner court of the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east. And they worshipped the sun toward the east. Okay, when is that generally done other than on the solstices? Okay, so this all kind of folds together. Okay, and it's just, I'm telling you, it's there. And it means something. I'm just not sure what. I know we're in our, you know, calendar eighth month. And that this is uh, Ezekiel 8, right? So that's something. So I asked one more time, I just asked the Lord, I do, and I just say, can you show me, Father, something that would verify that I'm on the right track? I'm not just running off some rabbit hole, okay? And so I pull another random Bible verse, and it's Psalm 8, 1. No kidding. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Who has set thy glory above the heavens. All glory to the Father. All glory. So, I hope that you're following what I'm saying here. That this is all the devices, just like he talks about here in Ezekiel 11. The, the same um, random verse that I got, right? He says, these are they that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city, which say, it's not, ne it's not near, let us build houses. Okay? And you go grab Mike Huckabee and his trowel, and you build Israel great again. You see where I'm, I hope it, you understand. To me, it's just saying that Israel is not... Um, going to fare well in in many ways here in the in the not so distant future. It's like that's just how I see it because if you continue to read towards the end of the vision, it's he's going to judge Israel. 
He's going to judge him in the, in the border of Israel. But I will judge you in the border of Israel. So what does that mean? I mean, and Ezekiel's begging him, Lord, will you make a full end of the remnant? And of course he will not. But think about that. What's happening now? There's all kinds of stuff going on with the borders of Israel. I hope this makes sense because it really did kind of hit me, you know, pretty square in the, in the spirit. And reading from Ezekiel 8 through 11 is so worth it to, to kind of help grasp what I'm, what I'm showing you here. But there is definitely, um, something going on here that, you know, we're, he's trying to show us. He's just, he's trying to show us something here. I, I can't put it any other way. So, you know, I have to share it with you again. You know, I really do. And they'll cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet I will not hear them. I mean, Coney, Coney Island, the hidden island. Okay? Concealed like a treasure. Crazy stuff, man. It literally is. And we begin the sixth month. The actually the fifth day of the sixth month would actually end up on the 16th of August. And I don't know whether that's relevant to the whole thing or not, but what really got me was dig into the hole in the wall, see the abominations that they do with their uh, idols, okay? Uh, this is just exactly what I see here. I'm, I'm not kidding you. And the incense going up the cloud around them. I mean, serious. And a cloud of incense went up. Thou see what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark. Every man in the chambers of his imagery, his idolatry. For they say the Lord seeth us not. Oh boy. That the word wall is actually 7023. 723. And the chunk of the wall fell out on 723. Just stuff that's hitting my spirit, you guys. As always, it just indicates to me, keep prayed up. Always. Armored. Fully. I mean, it's just, it's that important to remain in the Lord at all times. Because it's upon us. The people don't see this yet, but we are supposed to try and get them to see as best we can. Right? Half the world's on fire, for crying out loud. I mean... There's so much happening that is undeniably prophetic, yet the world just believes that it's because of global warming or whatever man tells them. They can't push their trust in man. It's just not going to work out for you, folks. you got to trust in the truth, which is Jesus, the living word. So I hope you do that. Anyway, hope that made sense and blesses someone. I truly do. But anyway, peace of grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 